Hey, what's going on? Okay, so today we are gonna make chilaquiles. Um, you're gonna need some shredded cheese or you can shred up your own, some corn tortillas, eggs, whatever you wanna season. I like to see, use flavor gar garlic and chipotle just to give a little spice, canned tomato sauce, and that's it, okay? So we're gonna turn on the heat for all of our pans. I think it's nice and warm. So this big pan I'm gonna use for my tortillas, this smaller pan, I'm gonna use for my eggs. So I'm gonna just put my eggs on this side and I'm gonna start with um, coconut oil. On the bigger pan, you wanna use a whole lot of coconut oil because you wanna have kind of like a little, um, a little pool. So we're gonna let that kind of melt in. And as those are melting in, what I'll do is I'll crack my eggs and I like to use four egg whites so just before we get moved this is on medium heat and this is on low heat because we're not going to use this one quite yet we're going to use this one first i'm going to set up my egg whites and i it's a preference i like to use real eggs but you can use um, carton if you choose you can use brown eggs whichever eggs you prefer um or if you are a vegetarian or vegan and you don't want to eat eggs you could probably use tofu in its place for the same texture. And I personally like to have four egg whites. It just helps me get in my protein without swimming just eggs on its own. Um, like eating a plate of eggs because it's all mixed together. It makes it a lot easier to eat so much. So I'll blend this together and it'll sit here for a second. Well, I take my corn tortillas and for myself, I use four corn tortillas. Um, if I'm making for both my husband and myself, I will use eight corn tortillas. So you'll see me cut up just with my hands all eight corn tortillas because you know, I have to feed my hubby, I guess. So I'll start with cutting it in half. And that fan on. And I'm not cutting in any like specific way. I'm just pulling it apart. So your meals don't have to take a whole lot of time. And as you get into this journey and start building your healthy lifestyle, what'll happen is you'll start to eat the same foods over and over. And so it'll start to be a lot easier to have already this recipe in your mind versus having to pull it up. Um, and it's such an easy recipe, you know. I try and keep all of our recipes super simple and easy and family friendly because who wants to eat boring food? So I'll use my tongs and just kind of flip these around. Um, I want to get the tortillas so they're all kind of touching the pan. The goal is to get them as crispy as possible. Then I'm going to come over here. Raise the heat on this one, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my eggs. Okay. So I have four egg whites here. I put this up to medium heat now. Um, I'm gonna let that cook slowly, let these get nice and crispy, and while that's going on, I'm gonna open up my can of tomato sauce. Nothing fancy, simple can of tomato sauce. We're gonna Throw it in this pan on low heat. And then this is what I'm gonna season. I'm gonna season my tomato sauce, some chipotle, a little bit of garlic. Oh, that was a whole lot of garlic. That's okay. And then I will take my spoon and stir that around. And then I'll just let this sit for basically the remainder of the time, and it'll slowly start to increase in temperature. Make sure you keep flipping your corn tortillas so that all of the corn tortilla pieces get nice and crispy. And if you start to see your pan getting a little dry, which could happen depending on how much coconut oil you put in your pan, just take a little bit more on the side. You can use olive oil. Um, I just prefer coconut oil now. If you're going to use olive oil, try and use extra virgin olive oil. 
I use that sometimes, no big deal. Personal preference, just try not to eat too much of it. All right, so now you can see that my egg is nice and white everywhere. If you don't, if you see any like pieces, you can just make a little line. And what'll happen is the liquid that's on the top will flow through the bottom and then it'll start to cook upward. So this will help you to get a nice clean flip when you flip it. Um, with this, with my eggs, I usually like to use a coconut spray versus the coconut oil, but I ran out. So we're just gonna use the oil today. Music. This, this is our first cooking, so we'll we'll forgive the DJ who is MIA actually behind the camera. Love you, DJ. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the eggs. So I'm gonna take it from one side. Make sure all the corners are not sticking. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Let it cook. So. If you want to drain off some of the oil, some of the coconut oil, you can lay a napkin on a plate, which I'll, I'm going to do for my eggs. So I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to lay this here, and you can just dry it off. Usually when I use the, the spray, it doesn't have so much oil on it. Preference, you know, if you want to keep it on, that's fine too. We're turning a little bit brown. And that's where you're gonna get the nice crispy little taste from. I don't season my food a whole lot like a lot of people do. Um, just I just stopped seasoning, you know, once I started eating a healthier lifestyle. So I don't use a whole lot of um, salt or anything like that. I only really use flavor gods now. And what I'll do is I'll put one in and then I'll put the other one right next to it and I'll hold it there for a second so that the two yolks will stay close to each other. That way when you flip it, they're right next to each other and you're not gonna break it because they're closer together and you just have to grab it from that one side. So that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of these. And go ahead and turn this pan off. I'm gonna take half the pan for me, and then half the pan will be for my husband. So I'll fill that up. I'll put the egg whites on top. I'll go ahead and make little lines where the yolk is to make sure that it cooks from the bottom up. So like I said before, I'm going to go on to the side where the yolk is. Flip them over. Probably should have added a little bit more coconut oil, but that's okay. While those are cooking, I'm going to take my tomato sauce, which is already nice and warm, and I'm going to sprinkle it on top. So I'm going to add cheese. Because it's nice and warm right now. So I'm gonna add a handful of cheese. And then I like to keep flaxseed and I try and put it on everything because it's good fiber. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of flaxseed on there, not a whole lot, but just to keep my digestive system healthy, keep a nice clean flow. I'm gonna get my green onion ready because my eggs are now done. So I'm gonna slide these off here and onto my bowl. 
And I'm gonna chop up some green onion. And I love, love, love green onions, so I put a whole lot on mine. And I will sprinkle just a little bit more tomato sauce on the top. And just a little bit more cheese. And voila, chilaquiles at home. So good. So. Get fancy with it and show your significant other that you don't have to eat out. You can eat at home and it will taste just as amazing.